salutations, my name is John Johnson, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Ocarina of Time, Legend of Zelda for the Nintendo 64. So, yeah. <laughs> Some of you guys may be wondering where I've been lately. <laughs> this is actually the first time I've had a chance to record in about three weeks. Long story short, I got a new job, and the new job required lots and lots of out-of-town training. Uh, out of the last probably 20 days, I've spent about 11 or 12 out of town, and the other times I've been here working in my my actual hometown it's it's uh it's been a long process but anyways i'm glad that i'm finally back and i'm hopefully soon we'll be able to uh to get back into normal updates so be looking forward to that there now see the bad thing about this is uh it's been just as long it's been about three weeks since i played this on my practice file so forgive me if i have a few stupidity moments i do apologize but uh, i'm gonna try my best here <laughs> Oh, you'd think that I played this game as much as I have, I'd be able to do it regardless, but yeah, not so much. Nope, nope. I think I'll be alright, though. So, anyways, on the last episode, we uh, did stuff in, in Kakariko Village and, and then made our way to Goron City and over here to Dodongo's Cavern. Now, Dodongo's Cavern, being the second dungeon in the game, is not super difficult or anything like that. Also, why did I do that? That didn't need to be done. Ow! Uh, this is a business Deku. If you want... You can, uh, kill him real quick, doesn't take much, just a little reflective shield, ba-boom, ba-boom. And he will sell you some stuff. I forgot what you sell, though. Let me go, I will sell you a Deku Shield. Okay, so, if you, if you're using your Deku Shield, and you get hit by fire, or fall into the lava that's down there, or something like that, the Deku Shield will burn up, so, obviously, unequip that. I'm confused, though, because, well, I guess you could use a Deku Nut, yeah. It's like, how are you going to kill the business shrub to get a Deku Shield without the Deku Shield? Because you can't use a Highland Shield to reflect bullets when you're a kid. Anyways. <laughs> and well, I can't really say I was off subject, but that was a little random, I guess. So here we have our first major dungeon item in this game. Not in this game. Dude, come on. <laughs> it hasn't been that long since you recorded. Uh, dungeon math, we got that. I haven't been putting off recording, but I have, like, I don't know. I've been so tired from training and work and everything lately that I felt like recording was not going to be a good idea. I, the only reason I'm able to do it now, actually, is because... What do you want, Navi? Looks like there are men loppy around here. The watchers shut up, Navi, you stupid fairy. Uh, my train of thought completely derailed. Thanks a lot, Navi. You are you make me fail. <laughs> what was I saying? I honestly don't remember at all. Something about record I don't know I just don't know anymore uh, I, what, what I was talking about a long time ago earlier was that uh even though this is a little bit of step up in difficulty uh, because it is a, obviously the the next dungeon the game random uh, gossip stone by the way it's still not super difficult it is a lot more difficult than Deku tree though I will say that it's a lot more standard Zelda dungeony compared to the Deku tree Boom. I love the way the, the eyes blow up. That's so fun. Although I get hurt by it more often than not, so maybe I shouldn't like it as much as I do. But I do. So there. Shut up. I'm weird. <laughs> Anytime you go a long time without recording and you come back to it, it always takes a little bit to get used to it again. All right. Come, come, little baby Dodongos. Now, cool thing about baby Dodongos is they'll actually blow up uh, after you hit them. Like that. Now, what I'm going to try and do here... Come on, come on. There you go. No, don't go back in the ground. I need one to come over here. Come on. Any of them. I know you're here. Come, come on. Yep, come on. Come on. Come on. Right over by the door. There we go. Wait for it. I'm probably still going to get hurt by this. Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah, you can lure them over here to bomb the door open. So that's pretty neat. And it saves you from having to backtrack later on. Uh, our prize here is the 15th? Yeah, 15th Golden Sculpture. I had to look at my notes real quick. Ow, that was not the smart thing to do. There we go. Nope, get it? There we go. And 15th Gold Sculpture, so that's cool. That's really all that's in this room. Uh, I think normally they want you to backtrack into this room to get that. I don't really know for sure. Oh god, I only have two hearts. Do I still have long on milk? I do. Okay, I may end up taking that here. I want cards in this. And there's not! Oh god, baby Dodongos. Get out of the way. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get the lawn on milk because I do not want to start off this recording session with a death. That would be horrible. It's surprising how useful the lawn on milk actually is. I do seem like 
I mean, I, I've said it before, but I've played through this game a lot. <laughs> and uh, I do seem to remember using that Lon Lon Milk pretty early on in the game. Usually in this dungeon, if I remember right. So, I mean, oh, no, I didn't push it up far enough. Come on, John! Oh, now I remember what I was talking about earlier. Just it, it, If you go so long without recording, especially when you get into a schedule of it like I was, it's kind of hard to get back in the swing of things. It takes like an episode or two to really get back into it. Not sure why. I mean, I guess if you don't, if you go so long without practicing anything, you're gonna get rusty at it, obviously. But you don't really expect this to be a skill, especially not one you you, you get rusty at if you don't do it. But I mean, it kind of is. Live commentary is a skill, believe it or not. Don't know how marketable it is unless you're going into like newscasting or something like that. But come on, oh yeah, this is my favorite part. This is like the most exciting f fight in the entire game here. You just beetle up like I am. There you go. Wait for it. Hit. And I missed completely. Wonderful. There we go. Exciting. And then they run away and the other one comes. Yeah. Anyways, live commentary is kind of a... I don't know. I tell people when they first start out LPing that the first... Really the first entire series you do... Or really more than that even. Because if you look back, like, in my old series, the, even my, my commentary style changes pretty drastically, especially, like, the, the older videos you look at, the we the more differenter English uh, my, my commentary is. And it's just a, a matter of falling into that pace that you, you get used to. Are you going to attack or what? Thank you. God, the fight's already slow enough as it is. Uh, you get, you kind of discover your own style of commentary, because you're essentially talking to yourself. And for some people, that comes easier to others. I've always had the habit of talking to myself uh, vocally and internally. I constantly have an internal monologue going on. And uh, it's it's definitely something that comes easier to some people than others. But at the same time, everybody is capable of doing this. Everybody can do live commentary and do it well. It's just a matter of how much effort do you really want to put into it. Uh, what's behind that door? I don't know, actually. Mm, let's find out. I forgot there's bomb flowers here. Do, 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 do. It's weird how this is one of the dungeons I probably know best, but at the same time I can never remember everything about it. For some for some ungodly reason I can never remember. Every, and it, like I said, it's been three weeks since I did my practice round on this, which is much much longer. Than usually my 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 preference is to uh, what are you selling? Deku sticks. I don't need freaking Deku sticks. The reason he's selling deck sticks because if you don't have any, you, uh, it's actually required to have them for the next room. So, a little of a way out there. Good game design, guys. Uh, what the crap was I saying? I, my mind keeps leaving me completely. Just brain farts everywhere today. Everywhere. Everywhere. Alright, go faster, Link. Your, your stick's gonna run out. There we go. But, uh, oh yeah. It's This is one of those temples that it's, it's so weird that... I, it seems like I don't know it as well as I actually do, because I do know this. It's, I've had, I've played through as many times as I've played through this game completely. I've played through it halfway, like twice as much. I've probably played through the first half of this game upwards of 60 times, which is stupid. Don't don't be don't be like me. <laughs> but it's it's weird that I still don't quite know it, even just because it's been so long since I did my practice round on it. My normal preference on practice rounds is I'll, I'll practice it and at most two or three days later get out of the lava link. That was stupid of you. How? Wow, my shield didn't burn up. I got kind of lucky on that one. It will burn up if you go in there. I guess you have a certain amount of time. You have to be in there for it to actually burn up. But it will burn, so be careful. Uh, but yeah, my normal normal preference is to do uh, practice round and then actual recording within two or three days of the practice round so it's all fresh and everything it makes recording a lot easier for my particular style anyways um but uh, obviously sometimes that doesn't happen like it has been for this uh this last month almost it's it it's weird because this is the first job i've ever had that uh well let me rephrase that this is one of the only jobs I've ever had that I don't dread going to. Don't get me wrong, I've liked all the other jobs I've had, but not a lot. <laughs> I know that sounds bad, but I mean, I've I waited tables for almost 10 years altogether. It's not something that is just super enjoyable, just to be perfectly honest. 
it's a good gig, don't get me wrong, and I did enjoy it to a degree, but this is one of the first jobs I've ever really looked forward to, to going to. And it's not even like a major, like a dream job or anything like that, it's just a good job, period. Something I've wanted for a long time. And, uh, because of that, time's been going by a whole lot. And I've spent a lot of time out of town, like I said, which has been a major component in me not getting any, uh, LP work done. I've tried to, to keep a, as, at least a few videos, uh, like on the backlog to, to keep you guys, at least let you guys know that I'm not dead and I haven't gone another four month hiatus like I did a long time ago in the dark times that we don't talk about. And I've tried to uh, at least upload once or twice a week just to make sure you guys know I'm, I'm still here. For I'm still alive. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> oh man. My notes real quick. Sorry, I got distracted. Another bad thing about going so long between practice round and actual recording is that I still need to look at my notes and make sure I'm not forgetting anything, especially sculptulas. Sculptulas are the one big thing I'm worried about in this game and forgetting about them in this game because if you miss one, they're the entire 100%. And for for most of them, like the ones that are out in Hyrule Field and all that, it's not a big deal. But I really do not want to miss any sculptulas that are in the dungeon or anything because I. I have a deep-rooted disdain for backtracking in video games. I really, it's one of the things that's kept me from playing most Metroid games, honestly, because I've always heard they have a lot, a lot of backtracking. And I really do not like backtracking in video games. I really, really don't. Huh. There's a gold sculpture over there. I've never noticed that. How the balls? How the balls do you get that? Huh. It must be one you have to get later on in, in, in life, so I'm gonna have to backtrack later on in life. I'm gonna have to backtrack uh, into this dungeon anyways, apparently. Why do I not... I've 100 percent this game. How do I not remember that Sculptula? It must be, like, one of the only ones I, I didn't... didn't really know about or anything. It looks like you gotta get to wait for the stairs to go back up or something, but they don't ever go back up. That's weird. Anyways, sorry. I'm getting distracted. <laughs> I get easily distracted. I've never noticed that before... Well, I, I shouldn't say I never noticed it, like I said, 100% of the game. Of course, I've noticed it at some point in time. I did notice it in my practice round, though. I don't know. There are still parts of the game I don't know very well. Just to be perfectly honest, as much as I have 100 percent it, my memory of it is not that good. And most of my 100%, like, the last time I 100 percent the game was... A really long time ago. <laughs> I don't remember exactly how long, but, I mean, it's been a decent chunk of time, to say the least. Is that all the keys? I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate bats. I hate keys. Keys, keys can go die in a fire. Although, dying in a fire is probably not very good because, honestly, they don't die. They just kind of catch on fire. Also, is this ladder, like, doubled? It is. That's weird. Graphical things from the 64 era. Era, not era. Era, era. I'm sorry. <laughs> My mind, like just trails off every once in a while for no real apparent reason. I seriously worry that I may have something wrong with me sometimes. Nope! Denied. Let's see if I can actually hit this key. Well, not like that. Wait for it. Bam! I am a marksman with slingshot. I'm not really. Oh. Nope, I'm not getting those. <laughs> not worth it. Alright, let me double check my map real quick. Make sure I'm not forgetting any uh, major treasure chest or anything like that. I don't think I am. There's stretch just over there, but we can get that later. Yeah, I think I'm I think I'm good to go. I have I've mentioned it in, in my other Zelda LPs before, but I have a serious obsession with opening every chest in a dungeon. You never know we'll be around the corner and then you're back. Blah 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 blah. Shut up, Navi. Oh, why can I not skip this? I'll never forget all the stuff Navi says, though. I may forget how some of the dungeons are laid out and all that, but never forget Navi, because he's just too dang annoying. Also, there's a recovery heart back here if you want it. Kind of random, but whatever. Oh, that was not what I wanted to do. Come on. Get up on the block. Okay. Now, jump that way. There we go. Look at that. You're not quite as stupid as you seem. The one chest in this dungeon that I always forget about is actually in this room. You can't see it because of all the... the columns and everything and you, you may be able to zoom around the corner there a little bit but uh it's 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 through a, a doorway it's actually not in this room a lot it's through a doorway at the other end of this room and there's never really a super good opportunity to get it to my to my knowledge at least not that i remember as you i've said many times 
I messed that up. As I've said many times in the last uh, 15 or so minutes, my memory is not super great of this dungeon. For whatever reason. Just because. I don't have good memory, period, to be honest with you, Kamikaze. It wasn't even a successful Kamikaze. Wow. <sighs> now, if you're really good at throwing these bombs, which some people are, I am not, obviously, you can actually just throw it and let it sit up on the ledge by the door, or by the bobble doorway thing there. Personally, I find it easier to time, although, friggin', there we go. I find it easier to time it. There we go. Although, obviously, whoa, that was a lovely little glitch. Obviously, timing it is not a perfect solution, but, I mean, it's better than anything I got to shut up. <laughs> oh, I'm being so antagonistic, and I don't mean to. I'm just, I, I, I get nervous whenever I, I go so long without recording, because it, it feels like I fall out of my style and have to, like, rediscover it every time. I don't know. Maybe my fellow LPers will understand that. Yay, and another boring fight. Perfect. So what do you guys want to talk about hearing this? Friggin... Hit me! Come on! Thank you. There we go. And la. Honestly, you could use Deku Nuts on these guys, too, by the way. Uh, personally, I mean, you're gonna end up waiting. Most likely, anyways. I don't even see the point of wasting Deku Nuts. Come on. There we go. One more. There we go. Two hits each, and they're done. Come on. Next. Do your little ballerina dance, thank you. And come on, get this over with. I friggin', this is without a doubt one of the more annoying parts in the entire game. I don't really, like, I guess... It's it's less annoying when you fight them, like, genuinely, like, when you're trying to, to run around and all that, but after you've played the game... Why, why, why do you only get hit? That was weird. I think you took an extra hit for some reason. Did he? I don't know, I'll have to look back in editing. That was weird. Uh, I, I guess it's less annoying if you fight them genuinely, but if you do like I did, it's just kind of annoying. You could fall down in the first place we fought these guys, by the way. Uh, right here, you can obviously see they're above it. It's two recovery hearts over here if you want them. Personally, they're not really worth the risk, I say, as I get them anyways. <laughs> but, I mean, if you need them, there they are. They're kind of forgiving with recovery hearts in the beating part of the game, which is understandable. You know, you're still getting used to the game to a degree. Although, honestly, by this point, we've made enough progress, we should pretty much know how everything works for the most part. But, you know, they're just, they're they're generous, you can't spit in their hand. Random Battle Block Theater reference. I've been watching the, uh, we, uh, Steven Place actually did a, a LP of Battle Block Theater, and I've been watching that. And we, we went and we found, and by we, I mean me, Matt, and a few other people. Uh, all the cutscenes from that game in one video on YouTube, and we've been showing it to everybody. It's friggin' hilarious. Hey, we got a new item. You found a bomb bag. This bomb holding bag is made from a dongle stomach. You found 20 bombs inside. Wow. It must be very tiny bombs. Now, here's the thing. Uh, that's the doorway I was talking about a while ago, right there. The thing thing is, when we go down there, we're going to have to kind of loop back around to get back to the point we are now, because we have to go out this door to, to progress through the dungeon. Also, I just realized the texture is slipping or something there. It's a weird little optical illusion. Uh, which sucks. I've mentioned before, I hate backtracking in games. It's really... I, it, it, I won't call it a sin, but it's, it's, a, it's not something I enjoy in video games. But this is the best opportunity you have to come get this. The worst part is, it's not even all that necessary. I want to show it off because... <sighs> I want to show it off because I feel like I, it wouldn't be right not to. I surrender. All they're doing is selling Deku Nuts and stuff like that. Like I said, not even freaking worth it at all. It's just two business scrubs in here. But I have to, I have to freaking show everything. I have to show everything. <laughs> Why? I don't know. But yeah, if you need some Deku Seeds or Deku Nuts, they're there. I don't really know why you need them at this point. You shouldn't really be running out of them. Unfortunately, that means we have to backtrack here, but it's not a huge deal. At least I don't have to, like, blow this stuff up or anything again. Blech. Anyways, I'm gonna cut right here, and I'll see you guys when we get back to that point. 
And we're back to that point. Sorry about the cut there. I didn't figure you guys wanted to watch me loop back around for no reason. It doesn't take long. It's only like a minute, but a minute makes a difference, man. Especially when we're already up to 20-something uh, 20, 20 minutes. I don't know how much free time I had uh, in the recording before actually starting the episode. Probably like a minute or two. No, you get down. Giant dead Dodongo. When it sees red, a new way will be open to go. Hmm, that seems relevant. <laughs> it's a clue. Blue's clues. Well, red's clues, I guess, really. Very blue, like from Blue's clues, would always have an enemy named Red. Although, I guess really they don't have any. Nope, that's that's not where I wanted to put that. You can actually jump down from here into this Dodongo's eyes, by the way. It's kind of awesome. There we go. So yeah, you just drop bombs if it wasn't super obvious. You drop bombs, man. Ba boom. Sound like I was trying to rap again. Also, I apologize for trying to rap in that Mario Kart video. Uh, although it was between episodes, so I don't know if you guys. I don't. But I know I did put that in, didn't I? Yeah, I think I put it in the actual episode because it was funny and stupid. Yeah, I tried to rap. It was. It was. It was. It was not great. Don't. Don't even. Don't even watch that episode. Things like episode 13 of Mario Kart. Don't. Don't. Just don't. It's not worth the pain. <laughs> Yay, Blue Ruby. But, like I said, treasure chest, gotta open it. Let's see, we're actually getting really close. Yeah, that's all the treasure chests. We're really, really close to the end of the dungeon here. Like, stupid close to the end of the dungeon here. Let's let's jump down in Dondongo's eye. Look at that. I'm all up in your eye skull. Your eye skull? Oh, that's not what I want to do. Wait, there we go. That may be too far. Oh, no, but got it. Yay! Wait, that thing can be really annoying. <laughs> the uh, BMOS there. I have been shot by it several times now. This is the last wing of the dungeon. Uh, don't even worry about the keys. Although, they're probably going to hit me now that I say that. Yep, oh, and I have the flame, the friggin' Deku shield. I keep forgetting the switch back. No, get over there! Thank you. Yeah, if the, if the flame keys hit you with the Deku shield, then you are out of a Deku shield. Which isn't a huge deal, to be honest with you, but that, that empty inventory space bothers the crap out of me. Really, besides killing business scrubs, you probably aren't even going to have the Deku Shield for any extended period of time anymore after you get the Highland Shield, even as a kid. Ow. Look at that! Double shot! Oh, I'm amazing! You see how amazing I am? Because I'm pretty cool. I think sometimes I purposely try to make myself as lame as possible. It seems that way, doesn't it? <laughs> Alright, now, there are a few ways to go about this little puzzle here. It's kind of weird. I'm going to show you, it's not like, it's not a glitch or anything. I think it's just an oversight on the game designer's part here in a minute. I'll show it to you, though, and it's kind of, I don't know. You figure they, they pay attention to stuff like this a little bit more. There's this room on the side here that we're going to be going through. We have to uh, push this block all the way over and then use a bomb to, to blow a wall up first. I think is there a wall. Yeah, there's a wall there. Uh, and once we get past that, we're actually going to be getting the last sculpture load that's in this dungeon. In the next room. But when we come back, I'm going to show you what they want you to do. Or, to be more pre precise, I'm going to tell you what they want you to do, and then I'm going to show you the easier way to do it. So let's, uh, let's go get the sculpture load first and... Uh, Double check. Yeah, that's gonna be sculpture of 17, which is good. That's gonna be the last one. All you guys, little armos there. Come on. Nope. Die. Thank you. I'm just gonna run around and dance and badoom. Perfect. There we go. And we got the 17th gold sculpture. That's awesome. We are almost a fifth of the way already done with that. I promise you that means nothing in terms of actual progress of the game, though. Alright, now, the keys are back, unfortunately, at this point, but let's see if we can snipe them real quick. Not like that. What? That should have hit you. There we go. I don't know where the other one went. Now, what they want you to do is push the block down like I did a while ago to get in that room, and then push the block all the way over here so that you can push this block down. That's the way the puzzle is supposed to be. There's a much easier way. Just climb right here. Not, no, okay, that's not the easier way, Link. You, you are making this more difficult than it should be. Climb on top of the block, and then climb on top of this. It's, yeah. Not game-breaking or anything like that. Get out of the way, Keith. There we go. And then you can just come and jump right over here. I, 
it just, I'm assuming it's just an oversight that either they never noticed or they just never bothered to fix. But, I don't know. It's kind of weird if you ask me. Get over here, fairy. You can never have enough fairies. Trust me on that. I, I've made it through this game without dying before. But that was when I was not recording. <laughs> and if LPing has taught me anything, it is that recording makes you stupid and will kill you in the long run. All right, we have 100% of this dungeon there. There's nothing left to do but fight the boss, so we're going to do that real quick. I figured we'd finish this one in one episode, so I wouldn't do it. Ugh, excuse me. Oh, my throat just died. That was weird. I apologize. <laughs> Turned to NCS there for a second. What the crap was I saying? I got distracted by throat death. Down on way, keys. Dude, I'm awesome at killing these keys. Normally, I'm not nearly that good of a marksman, I promise you. I have run out of, of Deku Nuts so many times in this exact room from trying to kill those two keys with, with slingshots. Guess I just got lucky. Reverse LP curse, yo's. Come on, push the block. Push the block. Cool thing is, we are actually making a decent amount of progress in this game. Uh, there are going to be several side quest episodes at some point during the LP, uh, where we get a lot of heart pieces and stuff like that. Actually, uh, not the, yeah, the, no, not the next episode, but the episode after that's going to have a few side questy things, although they're not actually side quest, mini games, if you will, that are get a lot of heart, heart pieces and, and upgrades and stuff like that. So that's neat. Hey, yeah, there is a chest in here. Does that chest show on the, uh, on the map? It doesn't. Wow, look at that. See, now that'd be bad. Chest has bombs in it, because you need bombs, if you hadn't guessed. Kind of a, a Zelda standard to, to use the the item from dungeon and beating said boss of said dungeon. There we go. So, uh, okay, I love this. I love the way Link falls and lands in this. Bap. Nothing. No impact whatsoever. He just... Perfect landing. 10-10. Much wow. <laughs> Alright, so we have the boss of this dungeon. Wait for it. Wait for it. Let it build up the intimidation factor a little bit. There we go. Infernal Dinosaur King Dodongo with no eyes for some reason. This is like one of my... F oh no, he does have eyes, doesn't he? Yeah, Just very tiny, beady little eyes. This is one of the easiest fights in the friggin' game by far. It's not difficult in the least, but at the same time, it's actually one of my favorite fights. And not for any other reason besides it just looks cool. It's very... Dude, really? You're going to be all the way over there. There you go. Come on. Come on. Come back around. All right. Especially because the uh, when you have the Highland Shield, you can kind of just chill there. He's not going to hit you. Come on. Breathe your fire. Breathe your fire. There we go. Wait for it. Badoom. And spin attack. Uh, you could use the Deku Sticks on this, and I think it actually will kill him a little bit faster, but eh, I don't feel like wasting Deku Sticks. So you pretty much see the, the options here. Rinse, Cycle, Repeat. He's going to spin again here in a minute. Never even lose my Z-Target on it. If you run out of bombs, there are bomb flowers placed in uh, the four corners of the area, which makes it a little bit easier. Come on. There we go. Wait for him to start spitting his fur. Yeah, he does have eyes. He has pretty blue eyes, actually. Very pretty. You're a pretty, pretty, pretty little princess, Dodongo. The only real problem is that you only really hit him once when you spin attack. I feel like I could have probably killed him a little faster than this with the deck of six something. Come on, dude. This is the boringest fight ever. You're you're not entertaining the audience. Why are you... There you go. I was about to say, why are you just chilling there? Bloom. Bloom. There we go. Look at that. Come on. Actually, what does your description say? This is a huge dongo that eats anything. Give it a shock and finish off your sword. Yeah, okay. I guess it was pretty telling there. Let's try not doing a spin attack and see if that does anything. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't even spin attack. It must have just had a sliver of health left. So yeah, that was it. A really easy boss fight, but it is pretty fun, to be fair. Especially the first time you do it. It's l all, all these fights are a lot more fun the first time you play through them. Not that it doesn't have any replay value, but... After you play a game 30 times, it does lose a bit of the replay value, to be fair. I do love the way it dies, too. He just, like, goes in the lava, screaming for help. That made me sound slightly psychotic. I apologize. Anyways, let's get the heart piece. Or heart container. You got a heart container! I'm blabbing the crib by one heart. metal. Cool. Alright. So that was it. 
That's the second dungeon in the game. I promise you they do get more entertaining and definitely longer. There will be a point where I'm not able to split, uh, keep it in one episode. Even though this is, does look like it's going to end up being kind of a long episode. It's looking about... Uh, we've got a little cutscene here, so it's going to be about 35 minutes or so. But I expected that. Oh, I expected that. It's me, Darunia. Well done. Don't beat me into the ground, dude. Jeez. Thanks to you, we can once again eat the delicious rock from the Dugon Ghost Cavern until our stomachs burst. You may want to avoid that. I feel like that would be fatal. What a wild adventure. It will make an incredible story. I can't believe that the Dodongo suddenly appeared in such great numbers. And that big rock blocking the cave. All this trouble must have been caused by that black man. I mean, Naruto thief. <laughs> should really stop making that joke. He said, give me the spiritual stone. Only then will I open the cave for you. You, on the other hand, risk your life for us. Kid, I like you. Yeah. How about you and I become sworn brothers? I need an adult. <laughs> There's no big ceremony involved. Just take this as a token of our friendship. And he gives us the item of our efforts. That I was trying to word that elegantly, and I failed massively. Wonderful, John. Absolutely wonderful. He gives us the next real stone, the Goron Ruby. It's so pretty. It glows red. Glowy red stuff is always evil. That's not entirely true. Actually, it's more of a pink, isn't it? Or maybe it's just a TV I'm playing or not. Well, yeah, that does look really pink, doesn't it? Huh. Kind of like a hot pink. Anyways, you obtain the Goron's Ruby. This is spiritual stone of fire fat down by the Gorons. You don't know what it means by Sworn Brothers, and you probably don't want to. But you've collected two spiritual stones, and have one more to find. Cool! Brother, you'll keep brushing up on your skills as you travel, won't you? Probably. You should go see the great fairy on top of Death Mountain. She will power you up. Hey, everybody, let's see off our brother. I could make an It's Raining Men joke here, but it's been done. Also, they're not actually men, are they? It's Raining Gorons. How about a big Goron hug, brother? I'd rather not. And it kind of forces you to start your way up Death Mountain here to go see the great fairy. Which we will be doing in the next episode. As always, thank you guys so much for being patient and... and putting up with me being absent a little bit during the last few weeks. Hopefully, uh, pretty soon I'll be able to get on a pretty set schedule and I can actually plan when to record and practice and edit and all that stuff, and I'll be able to upload more frequently and on an actual schedule again. But, as like I said, thank you guys for being patient. Uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. Like, for like, leave a comment, tell me what I did right, what I did wrong. Subscribe if you want to see more, and please share it with your friends. And I will see you next time on The Legend of Zelda. Agarina of Damn. Navi, what do you want? That really is a fairly top death mountain. He literally just said that. It's not even been 30 seconds, Navi. N uh, goodbye. <laughs>